Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to build this simple text animation that you're currently seeing on your screen. You can use this text animation on your landing page websites or on your apps. Uh, we'll be using just Figma to build this. It's a very simple yet elegant animation that you can use across your designs. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So we're in Figma right now, and this is the design for the landing page of my side project known as SwiftCV.com. If you haven't checked out SwiftCV, I will link it below. Uh, go check it out. Basically, it's a site where you can build resume websites, personal websites, uh, portfolio websites uh, without doing any code. So you just fill in your data and it creates beautiful, responsive websites for you. And it's absolutely free to use. So go check it out. It's used by professionals from Google, Tesla, Netflix, Expedia, Grab, and many more other companies. So go check it out. It's absolutely free. I'll link it below. And yeah, let's get back to our design. So this is the design that I have. And if you see here, I want this second text. So you have these hero text and I want the second text, which is in a gradient fill. I want this to be animating the way we I shown it in the starting of the video. So I want this to be moving and uh, doing and showing different type of text. So for example, right now it's saying build an impressive resume website. It could also say portfolio, uh, landing page, all of those things. So I want those texts to be changing with an animation. So we're going to build that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick this uh, text because we're going to animate this. And I'm going to move it out actually. And I'll place it here, okay? And I want uh, three more texts. So the text that I'm using is, uh, the font I'm using is Enter. It's an extra bold font and I've added a linear gradient to all of it. So I've added a linear gradient here. I'm good with these three texts. I want uh, the text to be rotating between these three uh, text values. So uh, one thing that we also need to do is I'll just quickly duplicate the last one and just move it up. I'll explain why I'm doing this duplicacy. So whatever text you have, the last one, just duplicate it once more and put it on top. And I'll explain it in the later segment. You'll explain why this is needed for the animation because it does a simple trick, okay? So total three texts, but duplicated one. So you now have four texts, okay? Now what I will want to do is, first of all, I'll just select all of them together and I'll just go on the right and distribute vertical spacing so that they just look nice and even. Now the next thing that I need to do is, I'll just select all of them again and I'll hit option command G on my keyboard to group them all in a frame. So option command G and now it has created a frame out of it. Okay. And you can see frame here as well. And I'm going to call it just rename it quickly so that we know we'll call it ticker. Okay. So this is what we are going to call it. And the next thing that I want is I'll hit command on my keyboard and I want to change the bounds of this, um, frame that we have built. So we just want the bounds to be changed because we want at, at one time we only want to see one thing. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll hit command on my keyboards. Uh, similarly, I think control on the windows machine as well. So just hit that and just drag it down. So if you see, it's not doing anything else, but it, what it's doing is just, uh, reshaping the bounds of this frame that contains all of these four texts. Okay. And I'll do the same here as well. And let's just move it till the top so that only resume website is the first thing that we will be seeing. So this is first, second, third, and the fourth copy is on top. Okay. Now, if you see this frame is re, uh, resized, uh, sorry, we have changed the bounds. Uh, and if you do clip content on the right, the other things will not be visible. So they are there, but they will not be visible because we are doing clip content. So I've explained, um, frames fairly well in my other videos. So you can go check it out on my channel. But yeah, we want this only one thing to be visible at a time. That's why we changed the bound of the entire thing and then uh, did the clip content option. Okay. So I'll just uncheck it for now. You have everything here, but it's hidden if you do clip content. Okay. And I'm going to call it ticker one. Now we need to create a few more variants of this so that we can do the animation. So I'll just uncheck this and I'll select the frame again and hit option on my keyboard. This will be alt on your windows machine and just drag it so that it just duplicates thing. Okay. So now it's duplicated. And the next thing that we want is, um, by the way, what we, other thing that we want is everything to be in the center. 
So we did the text alignment to the center, but we also want them to be aligned to this frame as well. So I'll select these and just move it in the center. Just hit the center. So it'll automatically align it to the frame center. So if you do this uh, center option on the right, it'll automatically align to the cent center of the frame horizontally. Okay. So I'll do that so that everything remains in the center because our main page is also center, uh, center aligned. Um, I just delete it and re duplicate it again. Okay. So now we have a second version and the second version again, I'll just rename it to two. And what I want to do is I just want to select all of the text inside. Make sure that you don't, don't select anything else. Just select the text and just move it above. Okay. And just to know if it is in the center or not, just hit clip content so that you know it's in the center. Okay. So you have moved it up and I want to again do a duplicacy and create a ticker three in which the third text is now in the center of the frame. Okay. So I'll just select all of them again. Uh, I'll just, okay. So the second one was here in the center. Now I want the third one. So I'll select the text again. Make sure you don't select the um, parent frame. Just select the text and move it up. Okay. To make sure that's in the center. See, it's not in the center. If you just want, if you're not very good at eyeballing, you can also turn on the um, background color for the frame for a, a little bit. Just move it in the center. And once done, just uncheck. Okay. So now you have the fourth element also in uh, the third text also in the center. Okay. So I'll explain this fourth, where will it go and how it will work. But what is happening as of now is this was in the center. And the second one moved here and the third one moved here. Okay. And I'll just select all of this and again sorry i'll just select the main parent frames and allow clip content okay uh, if you see a little bit yeah so i'll just cool so now we have three uh, frames in which different text are in the center okay now what i'll do is i'll just select all these three together and what I want to do is I'm going, I'll go here on the top, click on this diamond option drop down, which says component and hit component set. So it'll create a component variant of all of this. So if you do that, now these three have become a variant of this component one. So we'll call it animation, the entire component and inside it, we have three variants. Okay. Now we want to animate between these three variants. So what are we going to do is we will hit our prototyping tab here. Okay, I'll select the first one and I'll link it to the second one. And we don't want it to be on click. We want it to be happening automatically. So what I'll do is I'll change it from on click to after delay. And that's the main reason why I wanted to make it as a variant because you get this after delay option, which is the automatic option. Okay, so you want the screen, the first text to stay 800 millisecond on the screen uh, so that you users get a lot of time to read it. Then it changes from one to two. Okay. From this place to this place. And then we want smart animate ease out and 300 milliseconds. The transition should happen in 300 milliseconds. Okay. So this is the configuration. We'll do the same thing from second to third. Okay. So we don't want on click. We want after delay 800 milliseconds ease out 3000 milliseconds. By the way, play with these numbers. You'll get different results. Okay. So now that is done. And for now, I'm just going to link the third to the fourth, but I'll explain you the challenges there. So I'll just link it there. Same after delay, 800 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds. Okay. So now our um, prototype is wired up. Let's see how it looks like. So to add this component here, what we'll do is we'll go to our assets panel. And if you see, we have this final, and this is the um, component that we have just built named as animation. So I'll just drag it here. Okay. And just center align it, move it a little up. So that looks good. Okay. So now it's done. Let's see how it looks like. So as you can see, our prototype is loaded and our animation is cycling between the text that we have added those three texts that we have added resume, website, landing page and portfolio. And if you see it works for the two things like so from portfolio to landing page, it just moves up. And from uh, 
landing page to resume website it just moves down so uh, that the reason being we only have three frames that we have created here so from here to here it moves up just let me just quickly uh, unclip it and show you so if i do that if you see what is happening is from here to here it moves up because it's moving up from here to here it's again moving up from portfolio to landing page but from here to here what is happening is it's again coming down so you'll see a reverse motion that is happening and that's not very great if you see here i have just unclipped the content you see it just moves up but then it moves down right because you only have three frames but that's not something very elegant or desirable uh, what we actually want is from here to here when you go to again to the first text from the last text when we again go back to the first text it should again happen from bottom to top only it should be cyclic in the same way right so how can we achieve that uh, to make that happen so that just moves in one direction it doesn't do that reverse motion when we go from the last text to the first text and that's where our these four texts that i showed you right I, i told you about you have to add a duplicate text that's where the trick comes in and i'll explain you that trick now okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to just select this entire animation box the component group that we have created um the component set and i'll just make it a little bigger and what i'm going to do is so from here if you see right what i'm going to do is i'll just select the fourth one and i'm just for the time being i'm just opening the um i'm adding a background to the entire frame so the third um frame that we had which contain the last text which is the landing page one what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate it so i'll just select it and what i have to do is here i just come here and you just have to click this plus okay and it'll create a variant just like the one that you have selected so i'll just hit plus and i'll just quickly move it here okay so if you see now our variant 4 is ready we'll just call it um ticker 4 okay like others so we have first second third and fourth now in the fourth one what we have to do is we have to move it down so what i'll do is i'll select all the text that we have here okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it down like this so that the top most landing page text that we had was in the same place was in the same place as this so now if you see this landing page and this landing page is exactly at the same level okay and since they are both the same text so essentially we'll be at the same uh, design i mean it will you look the same way now what will happen is we'll link this fourth one to the first one and what will happen is since it's below um the text from here to here will move up okay and what we'll do is from this third to fourth what we'll do is we'll do it instant animation so that uh, users will not be able to see the transition between this to this so it will seem to them like landing page and landing page the same landing page will be visible so they it would seem like that they are at the same animation but what we have done is we have transitioned from this frame to this frame and the downward motion is hidden because we'll not do smart animate we'll do instant okay so it will move here and from here when we again link it back to the fourth one it will appear like things are moving up because if you see things are moving up here okay so that's the trick um you have to create one more duplicate frame and you have to move everything down and from third to fourth we'll now have to link it through um not smart animate actually we have to do it instant so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove the fourth third animation that we have previously designed and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and i'll just link it to the fourth one i hope i'm clear what i'm trying to do here is i'm just moving things down so that by adding an additional frame so that when we link fourth back to the first it's again an upward movement so that you can keep on seeing upward movement and what i have done is since we have the same text here as i told you right we have a duplicate text here when i move things down instantly users will not be able to understand the distance uh, difference because things are moving down but we will be doing it instantly okay so i'll select this here and i don't want on click i want after delay okay and i don't want 800 milliseconds i want it to be happening as fast as possible so i'll do this and what i want to do is next is instead of smart animate i want instant so what will happen is instantly within 1 millisecond it will transition from this stage to this stage and you will not be able to see the downward motion okay and from fourth what we want is we want it to link it to the first one so after delay 800 millisecond 
and three in milliseconds. The same way that we have done for everything else. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly come here. I'll turn off the background. We don't need the background to be turned on. Okay. Just making sure everything is in the center. Fine. And I'll just select all the frames one more time. Okay. And I'll just open clip content so that you can only see these four options. Okay. So that's the case. Now let's see how it looks like. So we are in the animation mode and if you can see everything is now moving just up. So from resume website to portfolio, portfolio to landing page, landing page to resume website again, and everything is just moving up, right? Because we have added that additional duplicate frame and that duplicate text, we're able to replace that downward motion very quickly with an instant animation and everything else is remains the same. You have animated through smart animate and this is how it works. This is how it looks and looks absolutely phenomenal a very simple animation that we have done here what you can also do is uh, when you're designing this you can go to the prototyping mode and this linking option that you can see right right now i have used ease out what you can do is you can play around with other things so you can use bouncy as well so for example i'll use bouncy and i'll just quickly select everything here instead of ease out let's just quickly use bouncy and i'll show you how it looks like so instant we don't have to touch from here to here last one we have to touch and we'll do bouncy okay and once you do bouncy, you see, the animation is uh, different. It's a bit faster and it's a bit jumpy and it's more vibrant. So you can play around with different settings that Figma gives you for different uh, linking and you can build a completely new interaction out of it. Principle remains the same. You have to create a duplicate text and a duplicate frame to make sure the moment remains same in the same direction and it becomes cyclic and rest all is up to you. Uh, play around with different times, play around with different duration, delays, uh, different effects here, okay? And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you like this simple yet funny, fun animation that we have built in Figma. And do try it out, link it in the below, I mean, just comment below whenever you build it, and I'll check it out. And do let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you.